Dr. Nichols, would you follow me, please? Good luck, Sam. We're here today. Oh, Mr. Get her away from me. All right, yes, this is um, Dr. Sam Nichols. Is it possible to speak to, um... Is it, sorry, yes, um, speak to Mr. Jordan. Corporal, can you tell us how you know Dr. Nichols? We worked on a MERT team together in Camp Bastion. Medical Emergency Response Team. We deploy in Chinook helicopters with a 12-member team. Eight military, four medical. Uh, can you describe a typical MERT operation? Well, for security reasons, we only touch down on the ground for ten minutes at a time. My men secure the landing zone while the medics treat the casualties. Am I right in saying that all members of your unit, including medical personnel, are armed? You are. What kind of weapon was Dr Nichols armed with? Well, typically an SA-80, standard issue British Army combat rifle, which would remain in the helicopter, and a Browning 9mm semi-automatic in a thigh holster. Now, can you tell us the events of July 26, 2011? We were deployed to an incident in a neighbourhood CAF a few kilometres from base. It had been targeted by a suicide bomber. What happened next? Well, Dr Nichols followed standard procedure, which is to triage the wounded and treat them in order of seriousness, regardless of whether they're our forces, enemy combatants or civilians. I understand that Dr. Nichols prioritised an Afghani local. Yeah. And what happened next? Look, these kind of attacks often come in two waves. It's the initial bombing, then once we've arrived on the scene, a secondary attack. Dr. Nichols was treating a patient on the ground when he made a suspicious move. Now, it appeared he was going to trigger another device. Dr. Nichols followed procedure under training. Go on. She pulled a sidearm and shot the suspect. She shot her patient? Correct. Fatally? Yes. According to army reports, Dr. Nichols discharged three bullets from her weapon. If you say so. Are three bullets at point-blank range normal to completely neutralise a target? It's restrained. Dr. Nichols succeeded in removing the threat. By killing a man? No more questions, Mr. Chairman. In my experience, Corporal, medical personnel when treating enemy combatants can be fired upon. Yes, Dr. Nichols. It's a dangerous job. And can you perhaps explain to the panel some of the other differences between working on a MERT team and in an ED back home. Well, you have the golden hour in which to save a patient. We have the platinum ten minutes. Decisions have to be made fast and in dangerous situations. Thank you, Corporal. No more questions. Thank you, Corporal Dean. You're free to leave. Can I say one more thing? Go ahead. There were 12 people in the helicopter that day. Both the pilots and one of the nurses are still working at Camp Bastion. Two of my infantry soldiers and both of my gunners have been invalided out with life-changing injuries. Both paramedics and a third soldier are dead. 
Dr. Nichols and I are here. And the seven Afghan civilians that Dr. Nichols worked on in the back of the helicopter that day are all still alive. Hours. Straight back to Afghanistan? Yes, a living. Look, um, about what you said in there. It's fine. No, actually, it's, it's about what you didn't say. Like I said, it's fine. They only don't want such matters discussed in open court now, do they? No. I'm sorry I can't stay to hear the decision, but I'm sure you're going to be all right. <laughs> 